Howdy all, this is Shane. Now some products turned up today from Hot Tone, so a huge thanks to Hot Tone for sending these out. They make some really cool stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing video and show you what I've got. Let's start with a little amplifier. This is the Nano Legacy Amplifier. It's a five watt tube amp, believe it or not, in a box this small. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and check this out. This is the head. If this is good, it's going to get used on a lot of my demos from here on out because a five watt amp still has enough clean headroom to sound great with some pedals. So let's go ahead and move this up to the camera so you can see what it's all about. It looks fantastic. It's built really, really well. It's, uh, you know, it's die cast, I think, aluminum or aluminum, depending where you're from. Got some, yeah, it looks really cool. And uh, it's got a gain, a bass, middle, treble, and volume. What more do you need? Well, it's got also got an effects loop on the back. So I think this with my Fender FRV1 reverb pedal is gonna sound fantastic on the demos. So we're gonna give this a shot pretty soon, maybe next week with a few of their pedals as well and see how it sounds. Man, I've been dying to try one of these things out. They're small and what can I say? They look fantastic. So yeah, huge thanks to Hot Tone for sending this out. It's gonna be an awesome demo. If you already have one of these, let me know what you think in the comments. So in the box with the amplifier, you also get some instructions and um, some stickers or decals, whatever you, wherever you're from. And yeah, pretty cool. You get some little cards. Shows you all about it on this one here. Very cool. And it comes with a power supply as well. It's an 18 volt power supply for the amp. And it's got the Australian plug on there already, which is awesome for me. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> it's got the earth pin on there, which is, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess I should have expected it because some small amps don't have the earth pin, but I'm glad it does. So uh, yeah, very cool, very nice. All right, over to the Soul Press pedal from Hot Tone as well. It says on the front, volume, expression, and wah-wah pedal. So it has a bit of everything on there. And let's see how this one works, whether it is just one of those three or all three. So let's go ahead and check this out. Same thing in the box, there's some instructions. I like these bags, I feel really cool. Anyway, yes, so it is, it is. It actually has a three control thing going on up here. So you got volume, expression, and wah. And that's fantastic. It looks really, really cool too. Let's bring this over to this camera. You can check it out. It looks really sweet. And uh, yeah, look at that. Very cool. Feels good. Button feels good. It's got some rubber feet on the bottom. Wow, this, this may actually go on my small pedal board. I got a gig this weekend, so I may put it on there and see how it sounds. Far out, really cool. Inside the box, other than the bag, same thing again, you get some cards that show you, you know, how to use it, and the different effects, all that kind of stuff. There's a couple of different cards in there. Wow, awesome, I'm really impressed. The build quality is off the charts good. It really is, it's really quite great. All right, up next we have the Wally Loop Station pedal. This looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Yeah, you should always cut away from yourself and close these bad boys when you're not using them. All right. Whoa. So out of the box just fell a whole lot of different instruction cards and so forth. We'll get them up again in a sec. Let's go ahead. Oh, it comes with some Velcro as well. Very nice. Well, these are so small. These are tiny. Holy cow. Look, I saw these on the website. I didn't realize they were that small. This is a Moval pedal, just to show you the comparison. Look at the difference in the size. Here we go, I'll put it on this camera. So you can definitely see a difference in the size, even with the big button on the top or the big pot you know, they're quite a bit smaller. So yeah, nice and tiny. They have three, con well, this one has three controls. It's got, uh, the pots feel pretty good for a small pedal. I'm always impressed when I turn the pots on a small pedal and they feel good. They've got a nice firmness about them. 
Yeah, Jack, the um, switch feels good. It also has a little metal bar across here to you know stop your foot from you know hitting the pots. So yeah, very cool. I don't know how this one works just yet, but um, I'm looking forward to giving this one a shot. Loop pedals are always fun. And uh, yeah, very cool, very nice. So I'll just give you a quick overview of what else I have. I have a pitch shifter hum harmony pedal, which should be fun. Or oh, it's called the Harmonist, but that's harder to say than harmony. So yeah, that should be interesting. They've given me a bit of a different um, line of effects than what I would usually demo, which is great to um, the acoustic guitar simulator pedal as well, which should be a bit of fun. They've also given me the rotary speaker simulator. Awesome, I'm gonna love this thing. I already know I'm gonna like it. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that as well. And they've given me the modeling tape delay as well, which I guess modeling means, I could be wrong. Let's open this one up as well. I'm interested to see what they mean by modeling on this one. I've already cut that one open, but just before. <laughs> All right, so. Lots of stuff that falls out as soon as you open it. Same stuff as before. All right, let's check out this little guy. Oh, very cool. So, just looking at it, I don't really know what the the actual pots are on there. It's hard to tell, but uh, there's nothing that really says what they are. Oh, yeah, one's mix. The other one's feedback, I guess, and then it has like three different modes, maybe three different modes, one, two, three, yep. And uh, yeah, so I like how they've got this on the top. It's kind of interesting. It, uh, it's really quite amusing how small these things are still, like I said before, against the, um, the Movol pedals, which I love these guys, but uh, yeah, they're so much smaller again. So if you're looking for some space saving on a board, Definitely check out the uh, small pedals, they're fantastic. So the last thing I'm gonna open is the Hot Tone Skyboard Junior pedal board. I requested this because um, pedal boards are always, you know, a cool thing to see what they're like and, and then I can compare them to other products on the market, which is sometimes 10 times the price probably as well. So we gotta check this out. See how it stacks up uh, quality wise as well as visually and all that kind of stuff. So the box comes in a bag, which is awesome. Not that bag, but this bag. Oh man, this is cute as. Is that just normal to say that? It's really quite small. Um, wow, I've got a Pedal Train Junior and it's sitting on the, it's sitting on the floor and this is even smaller. Wow, so inside you get that's the board in here. You also get a massive piece of Velcro to put on the board. Now, this is one thing that I wish more companies would, um, would take note of. I don't use Velcro this way up. I use the actual, um, I use this side for the, um, for the board, not for the pedals. So I wonder if there's another sheet of this somewhere in here, but we'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's go ahead, rip this open. Yeah, so they've already put the Velcro on this board um, already, which is the opposite of what I would have liked. I would have liked to have had that um, off so I could choose which side I wanted to put down. But, you know, no big deal. If I'm gonna just put together a small board, it's not that hard for me to, uh, to just suck it up and use it this way. But it feels amazing. Look at this, it looks fantastic as well. It's like this really nice metal. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel flimsy either. It just, it's great. What can I say? Pedal board, there you go. Hot tone. Comes in a little bag. If you're seeing what any of this white stuff in here, it's just sticky from the, the Velcro. Let's go ahead and open up the zip here. See what we've got inside. Got a carry strap for it as well. This is fantastic, man. If you're looking for a small pedal board, like a really, really small one, then this is definitely good. And it fits their pedals perfectly. So I guess that's the advantage of it. Ah, I just saw that now. There's also a little channel that runs down here for your cables. 
that's pretty cool. So it fits it perfectly. If I was to use the mobile stuff, it would be too big. It actually hangs off the edge. It's probably hard to see, but it hangs off the edge slightly. Um, so it's made specifically for their pedals. So given that that's what I've got, that's what I'll Velcro them on with and just leave them there. But yeah, very cool. The Hot Tone Skyboard Junior. I'm really looking forward to this. This should be fun. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to have all these videos going up really, really soon. My name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the video or the Hot Tone products, please let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you already have some Hot Tone products, please let me know and let me know what you think of them as well. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.